guys welcome again to my channel so in today's video I am showing you how I create this look using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Norvina palette if you're new to my channel go on and hit that red subscribe button thank you so much for um, coming to my channel if you're oldie but a goodie thank you so much for returning now if you um, if you'd like to see how I create this look then keep on watching okay guys so first I'm brushing my brows in place and then I'm using my elf shadow lock eyelid, eyelid primer um, and that is to um, prime my lids and to keep my brow in place I love this stuff your brow will not move Just brushing that again just to make sure that I have it right where I want it to be now I'm using my Ruby Kisses rich and creamy HD gel based eyeliner and this is in the color dark brown and I'm just um, putting that on the back of my hand um, what I'm doing is making the brush as thin as possible so that I can get real precise when I put on when I carve out my eyebrows and I'm starting at the, the very bottom just um, lining out my eyebrows how I want it to be and then I'll go on top just to get that all carved out. Now I'm doing that on the other lid as well. I mean, excuse me, the other eyebrow. And I'm just going to brush that in um, to make sure it's all blended together. And guys, my eyebrows are not, um, they're not twins, so they won't look the same on both sides. It's really hard um, to get them to look like twins. Now I'm using my MAC. Pro Long Wear Concealer and this is in the color NW45 and I'm just going to use that to uh, clean up the brows. And I'm using the same color um, just to go over the top. I'm trying to make it look as sharp as possible. Okay, so now I am just blending out the harsh edges. Follow through on the other side and do the same thing. And I'm just blending, blending, blending. The key to all of this is just blend, blend, blend. And I'm just blending out the, the 
front of it so it doesn't look so harsh. So now I am um, applying my e.l.f. brow and lash mascara um, to, the, the, to my eyebrows and this will keep it locked in place. Now onto the face, I am using the Country's Prime and Fine Pore Refining Anti-Shine Base. This is a primer and this is the first time that I'm using it so I'm just testing out because I'm a oily, I am so oily and I'm trying to find something that is really good to combat my oiliness so yeah. So now we're on to the foundation and the foundation that I'm using is the Maybelline Fit Me um, in 355 coconut and this is the matte and poreless foundation. Sometimes I use this and sometimes I use the darker one so. Now I'm using my Real Techniques Beauty Sponge and using that to blend everything out. I'm basically using tapping motion. Okay, so now on to highlighting my face and I'm using the NYX HD Concealer and this is in the, the shade Nutmeg and I'm applying that under my eyes. I'm actually getting short on it so I didn't have much product in the bottle. So um, under the eyes, the bridge of my nose, my cupid's bow, my chin, and also my forehead. Okay, and I'm using the Real Techniques Beauty Sponge um, to just blend that out. Okay, so to set that, I'm using the Airspun Loose Face Powder, and this is a translucent powder. And what I do is I tap it on the back of my hand, uh, tap off the excess, and then just go under the eyes, and uh, just basically go over the areas that I just highlighted. Now I'm just carving out under my contour area there, just to make it look a little sharper. Now for my contour, I'm using the Black Opal Stick Foundation and this is in the color Ebony Brown. Absolutely love this color, it just because I'm such a dark girl. Um, it's hard for me to find um, a good contour in this. This works perfectly. And 
the key is just to blend, blend, blend. I'm just blending all of that out. And I'm blending up. Just to bring back some color and some shape to my face. And um, just blending out the contour on my nose. And this part is just to uh, make my nose appear smaller. Because as you know, I have a wide nose. <laughs> So now um, to set that contour, I'm using the Black Radiance Contour Palette and this is in medium to dark and I'm just applying that with the darkest shade on all the contoured areas. So I'm using my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish and this is in the shade Dark and I'm just going to go over and just blend everything out um, and this is so that um, I don't get flashbacks when um, like if I take a picture or anything like that I don't get any flashbacks and it just blends everything out so it doesn't look harsh or anything like that. I'm just making sure that I blend, blend, blend so you're not seeing any line of demarcation. And I'm just using my finger just to blend out um, those harsh lines on the, uh, on the nose from the contour. Okay, so now for highlight, and I'm using my Maybelline Master Chrome Highlighter in Molten Topaz, and I'll uh, just add that to uh, my highlighted areas. some to my nose and my forehead, my cupid's bow and my chin, anywhere that I want light. Now onto the blush. I'm using my favorite, favorite blush of all times. It's my e.l.f. blush and it's in Always Spicy. Now onto the lid, um, I am actually still using the, the same um, concealer, the Makeup Revolution um, concealer. And this is in C12. And I'm just making sure that I blend everything out. Uh, get it all spread properly. I love this brush. Um, it just gets my concealer right where I want it to be. And I'm just using the same um, sponge that I use under my eyes. I didn't add any more products. I'm just tapping it on there just to um, just to set that concealer. And now onto the shadows. And I'm using my Anastasia Beverly Hills Norvina palette. Um, I didn't, you know, add like too much product to make it like really, really bright. Um, I could could have added more product to it but you know I just didn't want it to be too too bright but you can always just you know build now we'll be doing some more um, some more um, tutorials on this palette 
just different looks. Okay, so I'm just going to cut the crease and I'm just going to add the same concealer and I'm just going to put some on the back of my hand just to warm up the product and I'm using um, just a, um, a random concealer brush and um, I'm just going to carve out where I want to cut my crease. As you know that I have um, hooded eyes so I have to carve out my my own crease because my lid space is like real small okay and I'm just going in and just um, applying my uh, shadows and I'm going from a lighter to a darker type deal. See when I when I was applying this um, in person, it looks real bright. It looks brighter than it does on camera. So what I'll do next time when I do my tutorial, I would just add more color and just build on it so it will show up brighter on the video. And I'm actually just creating this as, as I'm doing it right now. So there was nothing. So what I did, I went off camera and applied my lashes and my um, eyeliner. Um, that, as you guys know, is like the hardest thing for me. Um, but I'm getting there. I'm, I'm getting better at applying lashes. My eyes are very watery, so um, it's kind of difficult to, to show you guys how I do it. Um, but I'll keep practicing So now I'm just adding the same colors um, on smoking out my bottom lash line And I'm just gonna um, add that um, Nice color there to my brow bone just to highlight it actually like the way it turned out and I'm just basically just trying to blend it so it looks seamless once I do that then I'll just use my um, blending brush um, just to blend out um, I, there is no additional products on it it's just I'm just blending everything together and I'm now um, applying some mascara to my lower lash line okay and in my inner tear duct I am just applying um, that color which is the same color that I used on the front end of my um, eyeshadow when I was applying just to open that area up and make my eyes look bigger and I'm just basically taking off some of the lip gloss I had previously and I am applying my LA girl lip liner and this is an espresso since I have dark lips, it's um, it's hard for me to find like a dark um, a lip liner. Um, so anywho, this one works well, and then that is the. Okay, guys. So yeah, this is the final look. Um, I hope you guys like this 
tutorial. Don't forget to thumbs up the video, like and comment. Um, let me know what, what else you would like to see on my channel. Um, thank you so much and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.